What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the 562.org. It's Julian. And Mike, and this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. We are at Milliken tonight as the Rams host Cabrillo on homecoming night. Fans, they were excited, especially the students. Students packing the stadium 30 minutes before the game. You love to see it. The Milliken mob out in full force for sure. And Miles Jackson, uh, just another number nine, excelling as a Rams quarterback in Southern California. Julian. Love to see it. It's been a tough season for the Jags, though. But they keep fighting, and, you know, that's just great to keep fighting all through the season. So we have this. Rams sophomore Brian Mantu caught a t-shirt at homecoming rally before the game. And another reward gets to call the team's first play. He's adjusting on the sideline. You know, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Where am I supposed to go? His friends wanted the Hail Mary, but he called for a trick pass to Lyman. Unfortunately, they bobbled the snap, so his coaching career ended with a negative play, Mike. Most importantly, Dorothy Mantooth is a saint, but it's okay for the Rams. On the next play, Jackson is going to throw it to Ryan Pelham for a 37-yard touchdown. Pelham entered the day leading the team with six receiving touchdowns, and he would add to it. Yeah, because the first play of the next drive, it's those two again. Pelham makes a couple defenders miss for 27 yards, and the score, 14-0, four minutes into the game. Well, you were in numero uno for a reason, and then stop me if you've heard this one before. First play of the next drive, Jackson to Pelham again, and untouched. I mean, he's got sprinter speed, and this is just a sprint, more or less on a straight line, for a 70-yard touchdown. Five catches, 156 yards, and three scores for Pelham. Also got an offer today, Mike. So a nice offer from Auburn. So nice to hit the offers from Mr. Pelham. The Rams defense just putting pressure on the Jags. Damian Hernandez here with the sack. And then Ransom Robertson comes through right there. Nice day for the Rams. For sure. They definitely wanted to come in and, and handle this game cleanly, which they did. Jackson's going to find Pelham again. No touchdown tonight, so not a perfect game from Pelham. And then the junior, Angelo Miranda, a.k.a. best hair on the team, has the lettuce flowing down the right sideline thanks to some great blocking there. And he's going to be knocked out at the two, a little bit shy of the end zone. And teammate Brody Wojcik says, I got this. No problem. And he takes in for a two-yard two score, 35 nothing. Milliken early in the second, but have no fear for Miranda. Jackson on the run is going to connect with his re receiver, who's going to race past defenders and the camera for 70 yards and the touchdown. It's all Milliken. Nice little effort there. He wanted that touchdown, Mike. Did you think about tackling him when he was running by you? Is no, I didn't. That I'm a head? cross country guy. Uh, shout out to Cabrillo. Uh, it's obviously been a tough season, but the coaching staff and the team are battling. That's all you can do. And uh, the only way for them to get better is to do what they've been doing. They keep taking games. They keep playing their games. And uh, we've got a lot of respect for the way they've been hanging in there this season. Um, definitely improvement, even if the results don't necessarily show it. And a shout out to their cheer squad, who've been doing a great job all season as well. Ajay Gravelli would have two rushing touchdowns late in the half, and Pelham was able to get most of his younger players into the game in the second half. Just a nice day on offense for the Rams. And it's also homecoming. Shout out to the homecoming king and queen, newly anointed for Milliken. Lots of festivities as well. Let's listen in on the day. <laughs> And some great fireworks there. Melkin, they're going to take it 62-0. Rams end the regular season at home against Wilson Cabrillo. They're at home against Compton next week. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. We do still have a lot of action still to come, including the playoffs. So for all of that Long Beach football coverage, you got to keep it right here at the 562.